negotiations. Well, everybody knows why it's essential. And it truly is essential for all of these reasons. And what it does is it creates a conflict situation that creates tension. And most of us kind of feel like tension is bad. Tension is truly a wonderful thing. I had a professor who taught the philosophy of psychology. He was German. He had escaped Nazi Germany. Uh, he came in 1937. He had a very thick German accent. And he was talking about conflict and anxiety. Just curiously, how many people have anxiety in their lives? <laughs> Fantastic. And how many people are dead? <laughs> Basically, he said, conflict and anxiety are good. You see, if you don't have any conflict, or you don't have any anxiety, that simply means you are dead. <laughs> Basically, what he was talking about is every time we get into a conflictual situation, every time there's an anxiety that we actually feel and recognize, we have a fabulous opportunity to push through it. Wow, what a concept. Actually meeting that anxiety or meeting that conflict and recognizing what it's about, recognizing how we react to it, recognizing how we react and make the other person react or respond, and then we can start dealing with it. If it gets uncomfortable enough, wow, we will deal with it. Even that will have this fight or flight issue. But most of us are adults, most of us have been in jobs, most of us have to deal with it. And it's a wonderful thing. Anxiety needs to grow.